Artificial intelligence is slowly creeping into daily life, from voice assistants and smart devices to advanced data analytics and more. In just a few short years, AI has unlocked new possibilities while raising concerns about the disruption it may cause. Among the multitude of tech giants and startups diving into the AI revolution, one company stands out at the forefront, OpenAI. This $86 billion research lab exploded into public consciousness with the release of ChatGPT in late 2022. By February 2023, ChatGPT had become the fastest growing consumer app in history, with 100 million monthly active users. But how did OpenAI reach these heights? Let's rewind to its beginnings. About a decade ago, during a dinner with tech leaders at a Silicon Valley hotel, the seeds of OpenAI were sown. Convened by Sam Altman, the current CEO, the dinner included Elon Musk and others who would go on to play key roles at OpenAI. The topic? Achieving AI systems capable of human-level cognition, known as artificial general intelligence. With an initial commitment of $1 billion, OpenAI launched in 2015. Between then and 2022, the company focused on projects that seemed like novelties at the time, such as training AI bots to win online video games, all part of a larger vision. In 2018, Elon Musk ended his affiliation with OpenAI. Recognizing the need for funding to support growing computing costs, OpenAI adopted a unique structure, a nonprofit overseeing a for-profit arm. The release of ChatGPT in 2022 ushered in a new era in the tech industry. Giants like Google and Microsoft realized they had fallen behind, while OpenAI's leadership was surprised by ChatGPT's immense popularity. However, this rapid advancement stoked fears among OpenAI's nonprofit board members about AI's growing power and potential consequences. Accusing Sam Altman of lacking transparency, the board abruptly fired him, sparking one of Silicon Valley's most dramatic corporate clashes. In a four-day span, Altman was fired, a temporary CEO was appointed and then departed, hundreds of employees threatened to quit, and Altman briefly joined Microsoft before returning to OpenAI. Ultimately, Altman triumphed. The board was nearly entirely replaced and expanded and brought more firmly under Altman's control. OpenAI isn't stopping with ChatGPT. The company is also developing groundbreaking products like Dolly for text-to-image generation and Sora for text-to-video. Looking ahead, they aim to build GPT agents, AI-powered apps personalized for each user. Outside of technology, OpenAI is actively engaging in legal and regulatory battles, striking deals with major publishers to use their content for training, while also facing lawsuits including one from the New York Times for allegedly violating copyright laws. In the end, OpenAI helped launch the tech world into its AI stage, and its audacious, visionary leadership continues to push the industry to its limits.